Hey guys, what's going on? Another video of where I'm not talking down on any women, I'm not talking down on anybody, just letting you guys know how things are going to be for what they are. So you can take this message and take it however you want. I feel like I'm saying I'm starting to say that in every single video because I just have to remind you guys why I'm here. Now, regardless of if you're single, you want to be single, you want to be in a relationship, you want to be married, you want to do whatever you want, that's completely up to you, right? If you're a man, woman, whoever's watching this and you're single and you're whatever reason you're single for, that's completely up to you. I don't care. But I'm just here to let you guys fellas know the type of guys out there who are sitting there thinking, man, I'm lonely. I don't have any girlfriends. I can't get any girls. Um, girls don't like me. They are out here with all these other guys, but I can't get anything out of it. In this feminist society where females can go out and do whatever they want, they're doing it. They're doing it with the guys, the top 10%, 20% guys, the guys uh, who look like um, like a Greek god who can dunk a bas basketball or run a football across the goal line, those type of guys, right? <clears throat> and I can't get any of the fun like that they're getting. So you start feeling bad about yourself. But fellas, just here to tell you, that that five to ten minutes or even an hour worth of fun that they're having every single night with different, with different guys is nowhere near satisfying as the relationship you can provide them with. And the reason behind that is because as men, we are the gatekeepers of relationship and women are gatekeepers of fooling around, of having sex. You all know that, right? Because that's why it's easy for them to get sex and it's easy for us to get a relationship. <clears throat> Women want commitment from us. And that is biologically and historically and psychologically the oldest form of commitment. The oldest form of bonding that they have wanted from us men. is commitment, relationship, togetherness, family, all that. And as men, we have that power of making that happen. You know, we are the one that's proposing to them. Getting, up, getting down on our one knee. All that stuff. Even though women are starting to do that now in today's society where we're talking about equal rights and whatnot. But as a, as, a, as a whole, as a vast majority of people, that's never going to change. That agenda, that norm of where men, supposed, men, is supposed to, uh, men are supposed to uh, uh, propose to the women, that's never going to change. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's foolish, right, to talk about changing that. Because you're wasting your time and everybody else's time who's listening to you talk about that. So don't feel bad about yourself, fellas, you know. There comes to a point in the manosphere of understanding about a red pill of where guys say that, okay, I've understood female female nature. I have gone through my red pill rage stage. I have gone through the, through the depression stage. And now I'm at the, at the acceptance stage. Now I have to accept these things for what they are. And I'm at that stage, fellas. Even though sometimes uh, on my videos, you see my emotions kind of go up and down. But they're not really going up and down. It's just some things I'm more passionate that, about than others. I'm passionate about teaching some things to guys than I am about others. You know, I'm passionate about teaching women's nature to guys than I am about passionate, than I am passionate about teaching fitness advice or workout videos that's why i don't make that much workout videos on this channel i can i can give you guys advice on that as well but i'm not as passionate about all that do you know why it's because we men we think with our small head and i've mentioned i've said it once i'm saying it again the drive to procreate the drive to make the next generation is the strongest drive that we have as a humankind. I'll repeat that again. The drive that we have to procreate with a woman is the strongest drive we have as men. And that's why a lot of the things we do in our lives are being motivated by women. We think to ourselves, okay, I'm going to get more money, I'm gonna, then I'm going to get the girl. Okay, I'm going to learn how, how I'm going to learn game then I'm going to get the girl. Okay, I'm going to go to the gym, get a better body, get a six pack then I'm going to get the girl. See? After we do something, then it comes getting the girl. 
a lot of the things. You can um, beat around the bush and argue with me and don't accept that fact, but that's how it is. That's how most guys think subconsciously when it comes to bettering themselves. What am I going to get after? Most guys really don't do any of the bettering themselves part just for themselves. Regardless of a lot of guys who are sitting out here saying that, oh, I'm doing it for myself. No, and back, 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 deep down back in their head, they're doing it for somebody else or to get somebody else, to get some sort of other benefits. We all know that. And that's why I'm making these videos to redirect that energy, that drive of, to procreate in the right direction. So these guys who are watching my videos, you guys, so you guys don't end up hurting yourself. So you guys don't end up in jail, end up losing all your money, end up having some, some woman come into your life and take all your stuff and have people walk all over you. That's why I make these type of videos. That's why I'm more passionate about these kind of videos. That doesn't mean that I'm necessarily angry at women. I'm necessarily raging at women, at women. Because I've already accepted their nature. I know how things are. In my own personal dating life, I'm, I still have girls that talk to on my phone. I'm not going to lie. I still need to get, I, need, I still need to take care of my physical needs. You know, like, but I'm not going to go out there long term date anybody again. I'm not going, I'm not going to go out there, um, live with any girl. I'm not going to go out there, get married, right? Even though I do want to have a family someday. And I have other plans of how I want to do that. I'll talk about it in another video. What are your options if you still want to get married at some point and want to have kids? I'll let you guys know what the plan I have for myself. So maybe you can think about it and maybe you can tell yourself that maybe that's my option as well. But anyways, yeah, short time dating. If I find a good girl, if I find not, 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 I don't want to use the word good girl because that's very over, overrated word. Like everybody's throwing that word. Nobody really knows what that means. <clears throat> if I meet a awesome girl, awesome personality, like fun to hang out with, cool, not boring, who's decent looking, I'm not expecting her to look like a supermodel, eight, nine, or ten, seven, even six and a half. I I still would consider like short term dating, you know, like having a few months of fun with her, and okay, now we have to move on to our own separate ways. I'll keep everything up front, hundred percent with her. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm not going to do any of that, um, any of the dream selling stuff anymore. You can do that. You can do, I, I still, I still do that when it comes to one night stances, but, but I don't do that if I know that I'm going to be messing around with this girl for a little bit longer than one, one night. The reason behind this is that the longer time you spend into someone, the more attached they get to you. <clears throat> and I know what, how it feels when you get attached to somebody so much and they just drop you like a fly. And I don't want to do that to anybody else intentionally anymore. But if it's just a one night stand, I'll still sell her a dream all day long. Oh yeah, I'll lie to her all day long. Why? Because at the end of the night, we're both getting something out of it and she's not going to be as hurt anymore. If she meets me and she does a one night stance with me, you best believe that's not her first time. So she's used to this rodeo. This is not her first rodeo. She's used to the game. So no, I'm not hurting her feelings at all, to be honest. She's probably just going to say, oh, okay, just another one, whatever. Men are jerks. I'm not, I'm not actually causing her any emotional damage or any emotional harm. Okay? And the reason why I tell you guys, I'm telling you guys these things is because more and more men are starting to do this. More and more men are starting to say, you know what, this long-term dating, this marriage, this fairy tale, blue pill, fantasy world is just not for me. I'm happy with making my own life, making 70, 80, 90, 150, <coughs> excuse me, $200,000 a year, making pretty good, comfortable living for myself, and using that, using my lifestyle, using my uh, resources, I can sell a dream to a girl or multiple girls, and have them come over and do our thing and then send her back on our way. Or even if you don't want to sell any dream to anybody because that involves risks. I'll tell you guys that right now. Selling, even though you're doing, doing one night stances, <clears throat> that still involves a lot of risks because if you have a lot of resources, the more resources you have, the more risks it's involving. Because now that girl knows, okay, 
he did me dirty, but if I take him to court or if I want to mess up his life, how much am I going to get out of him? So the more you have, the more she's going to milk out of you through the court system, through the legal legal system, or even she might just come in and slash your tire, burn down your house or whatever, damage your property. The more expensive property you have, the more damage you're going to have to pay. So that's why, just remember that, that in the back of your head. So that's why you'll also see that rich guys or guys who, who have their stuff together are starting to go into the sugar mom, sugar uh, baby, sugar daddy websites. They're doing seeking arrangements where both parties know what the expectations are. There's no gray area. There's no broken heart. There's no feeling being stomped on. And everybody goes their separate ways after the deal is done. And I'm, I, I just think, I just know for, I don't want to say I, I just know, but I firmly and strongly believe that that's how this dating market, that's how our relationship status are, start, are going to start heading towards. Because as I mentioned, more and more men are starting to wake up to all of this. They're seeing women's nature. They're seeing the red pill. They're finding the red pill. You know, Alpha Male Strategies has 330 some thousand subscribers. Coach Red Pill has like 200, and, uh, I don't know, 250,000 subscribers, something like that. Better Bachelor, this channel just blew up out of nowhere. 66,000 subscribers. Coach Greg Adams, 87,000 subscribers. Darius McTow, Darius M, 73,000 subscribers. LFA, Lean Figure Army, 50 something thousand subscribers. MJ Get Right, I think he's close to 90,000 subs. So, Men are starting to get, this is this, when I was, well, alpha male strategies, that's more than quarter of a mill of a people, of, of men. Majority of them are men. Uh, waking up to this message. And that's why more and more women are, will be single coming on, coming on. We're figuring out that they are uh, making the beta male pay for all their dates and pay, pay, pay for their lifestyle, pay to play. And they're giving it up for free, uh, giving, it, uh, giving it away for free to alpha males. We have figured out, we're figuring out that they don't like us for who we are. They only like us for what we can do for them. We're figuring out that she's not, she's not yours, she's not mine, it's just my turn. It's just your turn. We're starting to figure out that you will never be able to make her happy regardless of what you do. She'll always find something to say, I'm not happy. And then step out on you, cheat on you. If you're in a marriage situation, divorce you. That's the worst type of situation. Never get married to Western girls. Um, it's just it's just never gonna work out for you, okay? So we're starting to figure all this out. We're also starting to figure out that, okay, they're making their own money. You know, 67% of student loan debt uh, owns to belongs to women. Where they're going to college at all-time high rate right now. They're going to corporate America at all-time high, all high rate right now. So we're starting to figure out they're making their own money. So why do we need to pay for their dates? They're um, marching and uh, wanting to live this liberal lifestyle, you know, just objectifying themselves on Instagram, taking selfies and showing their booties, showing their cleavage to all sorts of people. And just for a few hundred likes, right? That's the type of lifestyle they want to live. That's the type of lifestyle they like living. They don't want to listen to a man. They don't want to follow any, any kind of guidance. Liberal lifestyle, that's what I meant. We're starting to figure all this out. So why would we go into their life and try to change them? Why would we turn, try to make a HOE into a housewife? We're starting to figure out that there's no point of doing any of that. We're just wasting all of our resources in the meantime. We're starting to figure out that as soon as she um, uses us and as soon as, as soon as she gets all our resources and we're of no use to her anymore, she tosses us to the side of the road and mon monkey branches to the next guy. Or she already might have had the next guy ready to monkey branch to before she even pulled the trigger in the relationship with us. So she has some, some, some base, some second or third base to put her foot on before she takes her foot off of us. We're trying to figure all this out, fellas. That's why more and more women will be single. And it's a good thing because as feminism is actually a good thing, fellas, for guys who know the red pill, for guys who can use feminism in our own benefit. Now we can get our, our quick fling, our quick fun, our one night dances whenever we want. If we just have somewhat of our stuff together, get on Tinder, swipe, swipe, swipe on a big, if you're in a big city, there's so many people or 
you can also meet uh, uh, girls out about at, at nightclubs and at bars and grocery st shops, wherever. And just do a quickie with them. Talk to them a couple weeks or maybe a one week and then bring her over or go to her place or spend like a small date on, on uh, a small money, a small amount of money on a, on a small date and then get your thing done with her and then move on. Because we're starting as men, we're starting to figure out that we don't need women to live a happy, content life. Women need us. They cannot survive without that. Biologically, psychologically, they cannot survive on their own without that commitment, without that man in their life. They will be miserable and lonely. Because do you know what they do to cure that loneliness? They sleep with multiple men, men after men after men. And that's not how women cure loneliness. They need a long-term commitment to cure loneliness. As men, we can cure our loneliness with as many hookups as we want. And with hobbies as well. And with pur purpose of our life, pursuing a dream, pursuing a goal. We can uh, replace that loneliness with all those things. But women are biologically not hardwired to do so. Because the more there's a finite number of men they can sleep with before they start becoming mentally damaged to pair bond. Before their, that receptor in their head fries out. We men don't have that problem. We can turn, there's a switch in our head. We can turn that off just like that, have sex with somebody, don't even catch any feelings for her and move on to the next one. There's a saying that says, you need to get in her, you need to get in her head before you get in her bed. I think I said it right, yeah. You need to get in her head before you get in her bed. So all of these new guys that she's going after one after one after one just to find true happiness, just to not to be lonely, it's actually causing her tremendous amount of damage talked about it in multiple other videos on my in, in my previous in my in my channel in the previous videos you can go check it out hope this video made sense guys you know like comment subscribe give it a thumbs up again don't be sad and upset that women are not choosing you they're not wanting to date you instead better your life take take a couple years off from dating okay better your life go to where you need to go the the position where you need to go to live comfortably and then use your money and resources to have fun, to attract women. But until you get to that point, you're going to be chasing women and you're going to be keep continuously be disappointing. Con you're going to be stay disappointed in yourself because you're not going to get good, you're not going to get solid results. Because women want the top tier guys, women want to leave, live that lavish lifestyle, then make that lavish lifestyle and then sell them a dream and get what you, and get what you want out of it. Because at the end of the day, that's all they're good for, fellas. In today's Western women, that's all they're good for. They don't know anything else but to lay back flat on their on their back, on your bed. So don't be upset. Don't be sad. Use this information in your own advantage. Again, I'm not talking down on any women. I'm just here to tell you guys how things are going to be moving forward from now on. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.